this demonstration, we're going to look at managing Exchange recipients by using the Exchange Management Shell. So what Microsoft have provided for us is they've provided a sample script, and within the sample script, we have a few commands for actually managing recipients. So the first thing we need to do here is we just need to set up the ability to import the Exchange Management Shell. So what we're going to do here, we're just going to highlight this script within Windows PowerShell ISE, and then if we just hit the F8 key, what that does is that then goes away and runs a commandlet. So what we're doing at this point here is we're importing our module for remote exchange management. And we're doing that with the if get module name contained, and as we can see here, it's on lonex1.datum.com, we're importing the module, remote exchange.ps1, we're connecting the exchange server, and we're setting it up to auto with the client application. So as we can see, that's now imported the module required for this little demo. Next thing we're going to do here is if we scroll this down, what we can do is we can get a list of commands utilized by Exchange Management Shell. So what we have here is we've got the get hyphen ex command, and then we pipe that, we're going to format that wide, and we're going to have three columns with the hyphen column three. So again, we'll just hit the F8 key. And as you can see, what this does is this shows us all of the commandlets that are utilized by the Exchange Management Shell. And as you can see, there's quite a few of them. Other things we can do with the Exchange Management Shell is we can get help related to some of the commandlets that we're going to utilize. So the first one we've got here is the get hyphen help get hyphen mailbox. Now what that's going to do if we hit the F8 key is that is going to give us help relating to, I'll just say no at this point, I have no internet connection from the lab environment. But what this is going to do is this is just going to get us help relating to the get hyphen mailbox commandlet. So if we have a look at this and just scroll this up, we can see that it's given us all of the contextual help relating to the get hyphen mailbox commandlet. And as its name suggests, it gets us information relating to mailboxes. Now, as you can see, there's quite a bit of information there, but that's not all of the information related to the get hyphen mailbox commandlet. So what we can do is we can get help relating to or get full help relating to that commandlet. And we do that by using the get hyphen help get hyphen mailbox hyphen full. Now that's going to give us full details. So we'll hit the F8 key again. And what that's done is that has given us full help relating to the get hyphen mailbox. So not only does it give us the contextual help, but it also gives us as well, it gives us some examples as well that we could utilize as well. So it is the full help. That still may not be enough information for us. So what we may want is we may want detailed information relating to a commandlet. So to do that, we're going to use the hyphen detailed switch on the end of the commandlet for the help. So what we'll do here is we'll just highlight the get hyphen help, get hyphen mailbox, hyphen detailed. We'll hit the F8 key again. And what that's going to do is that's going to give us detailed help, which is near enough everything. And that is going to scroll right off the screen. Then what we've got is if we're interested in this commandlet, we can also get some examples relating to that commandlet. And we can do that with the hyphen examples. So we're going to use the get hyphen help, get hyphen mailbox, hyphen examples, and that will give us examples relating to that commandlet. Now we could have run that all through the Exchange Management Shell. We're just running this in the Windows PowerShell ISE. So if we scroll this up, as we can see here, it's just given us some examples of using the commandlet. Right, other things that we can do with Windows PowerShell is you can create mailboxes within Exchange PowerShell. Now, we could do this through the Exchange Admin Center. The Exchange Admin Center is actually going to uh, run this PowerShell command anyway if we do it through the Exchange Admin Center. So as I'm saying here, what this is going to do here is this is going to allow us to specify a password for kc at Alias will be KC, name will be KC Royal, organizational unit, we're going to put that in users, and we're going to specify a password, we're going to use a secure string, and if we scroll this along a bit, we've also got first name, last name, we set the password on next logon, it's going to be true. So all we'll do at this point here is we're just going to highlight each of the lines individually. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to specify our password. So we'll hit the F8 key. That's in what password do you want to use? I'm going to use the standard Microsoft course password. I am a Microsoft trainer, so I'm used to typing that password in. Once we specify that secure string, the next thing we'll do is we'll use that password and we'll allow that password to then be utilized for creating the user account. So again, we'll just hit the F8 key. So that's doing my new hyphen mailbox, user principal kc at datum.com, so setting up the UPN address, setting up the alias, 
specifying the name, your organizational unit. Oh, I'll scroll this along a bit. Specifying the password, first name. Also as well, we've got the last name is going to be Royal. The display name will be KC Royal, and we'll reset the password and next logon for the user. So as we can see, it's currently running the script. We're back to the command prompt. So at this point here, as we can see, the script has run. We do now have a user called KC Royal. The alias is KC, which will be used to generate an email address for the user account. That's going to be on LON EX1 and prohibited send quarter unlimited. Right, other things we can do within here as well with Windows PowerShell, if we scroll this down a little bit, is now we've created the user, we can actually get some information relating to that user. So let's do the get hyphen mailbox for KC Royal. We'll pipe that out and then we'll format the list. So that's going to give us a lot of information relating to this user. So if we just scroll this up a bit, what we can see here, it's given us all of the information relating to the user in our formatted table. And then we can take whatever information we need out of that for whatever reporting we need to do on the user or just to verify the user has been created correctly. But as you can see, quite a bit of information there. Right, what we might want to do here is we might want a table relating to the information related to the user account. So what we're gonna do here, scroll this down so we can get back to the command prompt again. And then what we're going to do is we're going to run the next commandlet. And we can see here the next commandlet is the get hyphen mailbox. And again, relating to KC Royal, we're going to then format the table. We're going to look at display name, alias, server name, database, office, hidden from address list enabled. And we're going to have a look at that. And we're going to auto size that so it'll fit on the screen. So as we can see here, display name, alias, server name, database, office, there's nothing in there and hidden from address list enable is currently set to false. So we can see at this point here, this user will show up in the global address list. Next thing we're going to do here is we're actually going to configure the new user mailbox. So what we're going to do is we're going to set hyphen user, KC Royal, and we're going to specify the office to be Kansas City and the department to be marketing. So what we're doing here is we're forcing some attributes into some of the properties associated with this Active Directory security principle. So that's now done. The next thing we're going to do here is we're now going to set the hyphen mailbox. We're going to set something against the mailbox now, and we are going to hide this user from the global address list. Let's now just verify that everything has been set up correctly. So what we'll do again is we'll just come back up here and we'll just run the little commandlet again. Just to see if the user has actually been configured correctly. And as we can see now, what we've got is we've got Kansas City and we do have hidden from the global address list. The next step of this demo here is enabling mailboxes for existing users in the marketing department. And as you can see here, this may take a while. We're currently enabling 71 mailboxes. So we're using our get hyphen user. Hyphen recipient type details is going to be user. The filter will be against the department, which is equal to marketing. And then what we're going to do is we're then going to enable the mailbox. So as you can see now, we've now mailbox enabled all of these existing user accounts. Much easier by using PowerShell, done it as a bulk task, haven't had to do it individually, would have taken a lot longer if I'd had to do it one by one. Another thing we can do here as well is we can also as well create distribution groups through Exchange Management Shell. So we'll do a new hyphen distribution group, hyphen name will be the mock and distribution list, display name will then become marketing distribution list, the alias will be marketing DL. And then what we'll do, if we scroll this along a bit, we will then go for organizational unit and we'll put that in adapting.com marketing or you. Next command that we'll do here is we're going to get a list of users. We're going to filter that list of users by the marketing department. So we're going to do the get hyphen user hyphen filter and then our braces department equals marketing close braces. We'll then pipe that query and what we'll do is we'll add a distribution group member and we'll take all of those users and we're going to add them to the marketing distribution list. And then the final thing to do in this little demo here is we just want to get a list of all the users in that distribution group. So all we're going to do here is we'll get a hyphen distribution group member, marketing distribution list, and then what we'll do is we'll pipe that out and we'll just measure it off.
So what we can finally see here is we've got a count of 72 users within the Martin distribution list, which is correct because when we enabled the users for the marketing department, we created 71 new mailboxes and we already had a mailbox that already existed within that department. And that's the end of this demonstration of using Windows PowerShell to manage recipient objects. Thank you.